Very interesting, but thoroughly supercilious. <laughs> it was not supercilious. It was just silious. <laughs> Believe me, Heinrich, it was supercilious. Greetings, ladies and gentlemen. I am Asaf Adonai. Welcome to Asaf Adonai Stories. Rowan and Martin's Laugh-In is an American sketch comedy that ran on NBC for six seasons from 1968 to 73. It featured our guest on today's ASAP Stories, best known for his prominent character Tyrone F. Horn Eye, who sought to seduce Ruth Buzzy's character Gladys Ormfby on a park bench. <laughs> Um, <clears throat> how would you like to come to my waiting arms? Oh! <laughs> how would you? That's only one arm left now. How would you like to come to my apartment? <laughs> <laughs> and also his most iconic character, Wolfgang, a cigarette-smoking German soldier who believed World War II was still going on as he watched the very show that he was on, Laugh In, Behind the Bushes and he would make a comment with his most iconic catchphrase, very, very interesting. interesting, spelled V-E-R-R-R-R-Y. Our guest, a comic actor who won an Emmy for playing a diverse troupe of characters, appeared in 24 movies from 1956 to 2005, two of which the 1965 American romantic comedy, That Funny Feeling, and the American fantasy sitcom, I Dream a Genie with Barbara Eden. We're talking about Arthur Stanton Eric Johnson, known to the world as the one and only Artie Johnson. Artie, born 1929, was an American comic actor and writer, best known for Rowan and Martin's Laugh-In and a movie called The President's Analyst. He graduated from Austin High School in Chicago and got his bachelor's degree in radio and journalism from the University of Illinois in 1949, where he worked on the radio campus station. Born in Benton Harbor, Michigan, he appeared in the 1955 CBS sitcom, It's Always Fun. A master of sketch comedy, Johnson spent four years on Laugh-In. He started his acting career on Broadway before moving to Los Angeles in the 1950s, where he landed parts on shows like Make Room for Daddy with Danny Thomas. He got his first job when he stepped onto an open audition for the Broadway musical Gentlemen Prefer Blondes. Highlights in television already appeared in a comedic role as Charlie, a boom microphone operator who demonstrates to Jack Benny how to tell a joke and a story on Benny's own program. Madam, I hate to tell you this, but you have the ugliest baby I have ever seen. Well, naturally, uh, the woman was very upset at a thing like that, so she got off the bus. Uh, no, no, no. <laughs> she didn't get off the bus, she just sat there and cried. <laughs> Yeah, she was so upset when the man told her she had the ugliest baby he'd ever seen that she sat there and cried, you see? And then finally she got off the bus. No, no! <laughs> she didn't get off the bus. She was crying so hard the driver put her off the bus. Shit! <laughs> He also appeared in The Partridge Family, General Hospital as Finian O'Toole, a celebrity panelist on the game show Match Game with Gene Rayburn, and Murder, She Wrote with Angela Lansbury. Laugh-In is an American sketch comedy program that ran for six seasons, hosted by Dan Rowan and Dick Martin, and some of the sketches include Judy Carn, the socket to me girl, who often would end up getting splashed with a bucket of water, it also included Lily Tomlin as Ernestine, and after one ringy-dingy, two ringy-dingy, an obnoxious telephone operator with no concern for customers collecting payment on a phone. So, Artie also performed in 
audio book readings, and he did the voice to the animated Justin Lee Unlimited. So your audience can check out more information on Artie Johnson. He was just such a delightful comic who left the world some interesting characters, and he never got tired of his catchphrase, very interesting. I am your host, Asaf Adonai. Until our next show, Maranatha. Oh, oh my sciatic nerve. Oh.